Andrew McCart, AFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Finally, I've got my hands on him. Dalton Smith, eh, press conference done. You shout, give a big shout out to Joe Calzaghe and that. Just before we talk about the fight itself, how much does it mean for Joe to be here, man? I know you, you want the fight with him. It's been 20 years in the making, man. Just, what's it, what does it mean to you to have somebody like Joe here? Yeah, oh, it's, it's a massive honour, you know. To see, I, you know, it takes me back to the young age when I used to watch Joe. I think, you know, he used, to be, he used to be like a god to me, a, a massive idol. I used to watch him all the time, you know, him and his dad alone, because obviously the resemblance was there with my dad. Um, you know, the characterisms, I could see that in me and my dad. And, and I used to look up to Joe massively. Um, I didn't actually know he was going to come today, so when I, I did an interview, turn around, he was there, I was like, I'm not leaving here until I get a picture with Joe and meet him, so, you know, it was, it was a big day for me. So the fight itself, I mean, it's not, not a short not, not fight, you've talked about that British title, how much money you get your hands on that. Is it frustrating? Are you, are you pissed off, for lack of a better word, that you can't get your hand on that British title and fight somebody for it? No, I'm not pissed off because it wasn't meant to be, like, just, just now, it's within a couple of months, so... We only, we actually got offered to fight on this three and a half weeks ago or something. Um, and obviously, my, I didn't fight that too long ago anyway, so... You know, I've always said I'm a true professional, I stay in the gym, live the life, so... That's the benefits of, you know, being able to get straight back out. Um, obviously, I wanted the British, but... Obviously, I was down to fight a few minutes per hour. We pulled out for personal reasons, so obviously I hope he gets them sorted in respect to that. And um, yeah, I believe I'll, the British is still there. And um, well, I've got a job to do Saturday night. I've got a tricky opponent. I'm South American, everybody knows you know, the game, the tough, so well, I can't have a little piece of on Saturday. That's, I'm glad you said that because we've seen a lot of Mexicans, South Americans, that they come across here and they upset the apple cut. They, they come here and have a fight and We've seen it with in most recently, you can think with Josh Warrington, even Sam Maxwell uh, last month in his IBO World title fight. They're, they're tough, they're durable, and if you make one mistake, they'll capitalise on it. So, this is a dangerous fight for you. See, and they're coming over here, now this is their golden ticket. Uh, you know, they've been one of the top prospects, you know. They, they, they've got a potential to earn some good money for themselves. And, you know, that, that's their lottery ticket. So, you know, he's always going to be game as anything on Saturday night, so I've got to be 100%. I do want to touch on Violin Charlton. Uh, he, he said that you didn't want to fight or something along the lines. I didn't quite watch the interview with Violin uh, on IFL TV, which is probably bad on me. It's unprofessional on me, but he did say something that you didn't want to fight or he's there if you want to fight. Uh, just uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I was, I was, you know, I was a bit confused when, that, when I got tagged in that interview because uh, you know, I spoke to Sean and originally this, this fight was... To be made for somebody else, and, and that fell through. So it was like, right, get an opponent, we'll fight. And then I got tagged in the interview. Ryan Charles says he don't want to fight. So I don't know what's gone on in the lines. We never got offered that fight. You know, that never got mentioned. So I don't know what um, what got lost in translation through that. God knows what, but um, yeah, we never turned a fight down with Ryan Chart. Um, so I respect him, he's a good fighter, he's, he's game, he comes, he, and he wants them opportunities, I respect that. But um, yeah, believe me, we never got offered that fight. <laughs> Speaking about uh, being out here in Wales then, I mean the Welsh crowd, we know how rowdy they are, whether that, whether, whether that comes to rugby, football, boxing man, they, they, they show up and they're, they're loud, they're, they're noisy man, you're expecting a, a, t- a good atmosphere on Saturday night? I hope I get more um, more cheers than my opponent, <laughs> you know, with me being over this neck of the woods, uh, but no, you know, Wales is a great place and great people and you know, I know Joe's, Joe's going to get a great turnout and you know, I'm I'm um, you know, I'm privileged to you know be in the shadows following him. You know when he when he comes to become world champion. So yeah, I'm expecting um, a good turnout. Well, final one. Then I want to go back to Joe Calzaghe. You've done a photo of them. Did they give you any words of advice and what to look out for and stuff like that? Yeah, he said he said it was just good to meet. Him. Like, it was just, first of all, it's just great to meet him. And, um, like he says, he's just looking look forward to watching me, see my career now, and yeah, it's just. I, hopefully now it's up to me I want to achieve what Joe's achieved definitely listen I hope you know I'm a fan of yours apologies yeah. from Dave Dog we've been there since you my man let's do it and uh, I'm looking forward to Saturday night thanks for the interview and uh, no doubt we'll catch up appreciate you soon. it as always thank you thank you Don thank you brother welcome Team Everlast to the Team Everlast Fitness Day. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.